Hey, are you ready to go outside? You gonna be a good boy? Ready to go out? Okay, come on. Go ahead. Good morning. It is August 31st and it is almost 5.30 and I'm getting ready to make some breakfast and surprise, surprise, it's gonna be like one of my old faithfuls just from egg whites. Um, a whole egg and I'm gonna do some oatmeal. Go ahead and get that out. Three egg whites, one whole egg, and two thirds a cup of these organic better oats quick oats. Just pop that in the microwave and cook my eggs up here in the frying pan. So I got the three egg whites and one whole egg with, um, I went ahead and busted the runny yolk and kind of spread it all over because y'all know I like to do that. And then this is my cooked oatmeal and I added one pack of stevia, um, a splash of almond milk, and then I also added one serving of this cookie butter that is addicting, by the way. So that's what I have here in the middle and I'm just gonna mix it all up and that is going to be breakfast. So real quick before I head out the door, I wanted to show you what I was packing for my meals to take to work. Uh, this is going to be a full day of eating. However, since I am working today, I'm un I can't film at work. So I wouldn't be able to show you like what I'm actually eating at work. So I'm gonna show you what I'm actually packing in my lunchbox to take to work. So hopefully y'all can get an idea of what I am taking and what I'm eating throughout the day. Okay, so this is the meal that I'll probably eat like around 10 a.m. at the pharmacy. It is a three-fourths of brown rice, one-fourth a cup of black beans, and then you can't really see it probably on the camera, but the meat in here is actually grass-fed bison that I ground up the other night. So this is my first kind of mid-morning meal that I usually eat like around 10 o'clock. And then for my actual lunch time, which I will eat like around 12.30 or 1, I've got four ounces of some shredded crock pot chicken, four ounces of sweet potato with a little bit of cinnamon on there, and then I've got about a half a cup to three-fourths of a cup of some sauteed green, fresh green beans in here. So this is my mid-day meal. And then right before, uh, about an hour before I leave the pharmacy to go to work, um, so because I do have an hour drive. So this is kind of like my pre-workout meal. I've got a uh, half a cup of white rice, four ounces of ground turkey, and then about a half a cup to three-fourths of a cup of just some mixed sauteed vegetables. So again, this is what I'll eat around three o'clock this afternoon because I leave today at four o'clock, and then it takes me an hour to get back home. So that's a, roughly about two hours for all this to kind of digest in my system, and then I'm good to go for the gym. And then of course, I've got my giant water bottle that I always keep with me, and I just fill this up throughout the day. I usually drink about like four whole bottles of this at the pharmacy. So that is it. Um, it's like right at 5.50 right now and I've got to finish um, packing up and get ready and then I gotta head out the door and then we gotta go to work. Then I'm gonna go work out. Um, and so yeah, I'll catch y'all guys later in the day. So I am back home from the gym. Well, the Slater just got done having a nice little walk. He's pooped. Are you poops later? Say so yes, I am. But I worked today, eight to four at the pharmacy, as mentioned earlier this morning, and then I went straight to the gym. I worked out, um, I didn't for my workout because actually the workout that I did today was the exact same workout that I did in my last video that I posted, um, the <laughs> workout that killed me. Um, but I decided to, instead of doing like my uh, hit cardio, like my 20 minutes of hit cardio at the gym tonight, I decided that I would just go ahead and come on home and take Slater out for a walk because he's been cooped up in the crate all day um, since we have to crate him now while uh, like me and Cody are at work. So I came home and me and Slater had a nice little walk around the neighborhood and now I'm just about to have me a post-workout meal. It's about 6.15 right now, so I'm going to show you what I eat. 
All right, post-workout is five ounces of flank steak. This is one of the leanest cut uh, steaks you can get, so five ounces of steak. Uh, this is about four ounces of just a regular white uh, rosette potato, and I sprinkled some of this Tony Shasheries, Shasheries, I can never say that, <laughs> just the Creole seasoning because I absolutely love this stuff. It's spicy and salty at the same time because I love spicy stuff. And um, before I sprinkled some of that on there, I just put just a little taste of this Smart Balance butter um, infused with olive oil. This is like my favorite butter to use for one serving. It's one tablespoon and it's only seven grams of fat for a whole tablespoon. And I barely use like a teaspoon, if that, just to put like a little taste on here. And then in the bowl here, I have a mixed green salad. It's just an Italian style blend. This is like one of my favorite salad mixes to get. It's just romaine lettuce and radicchio. Radicchio. Somebody correct me on YouTube how to say this. And I don't remember how to say it, but thank you so much. And I failed at saying it again. And then I sprinkled some Ocean Spray Reduced Sugar Craisins. Just like a little handful on top. You can see those like right there. And then for my dressing, I just have a little dab of some extra virgin olive oil. Some EVOO. And some... Two to three to four dabs of some balsamic vinegar because I like whole vinegar. So this is my post workout. Okay, so it's almost 8 15 and I'm still in the kitchen. I just got done doing like a mini meal prep because I ran out of food uh, or I ran out of some of my food to carry me on through the weekend because I am working this weekend at the pharmacy. So um, I had to make like a little bit more food to kind of carry me over for the weekend. So I'll have plenty of food to get me by. So I'm just now like cleaning up the kitchen from that. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and make my last meal of the day, which is going to wrap up this full day of eating. And it's just like a little small treat, but it is high in protein. So I'm going to show you what I make. So I'm going to go ahead and ugh, gather up my cellucor peanut butter marshmallow fluff uh, whey protein. So that's the flavor of protein that we're going to be using. And I'm going to be using some like non-fat Greek yogurt. I use the Oikos Danon brand, um, the non-fat Greek yogurt. So I use like a half a cup of that. And a half a cup is zero fat, um, roughly like five carbs and then 11 protein. And so pair it with the powder, protein powder, which it, for one scoop is 24 grams. Of protein and then to add to it I'm going to be putting you already know it but the peanut butter and company white chocolate wonderful which is my absolute favorite peanut butter so that's where we're using one tablespoon of that so that will give you about seven grams of fat five ish carbs and three protein so I'll show you how I make it Half a cup of non-fat Greek yogurt on heaping tablespoon. <laughs> I don't usually like to measure for my peanut butter. I just put like a nice little glob in there. That's close enough. And then one scoop of my protein. So whatever protein choosing you'd like. Right there. And that is it. So just mix it all up. And so it makes like a nice little high protein treat like this. Okay, so basically that is going to wrap up this video. That was a full day of eating. This was actually a high carb day. Um, so I wanted to just kind of give like a little bit of a rundown of what kind of like what my nutrition uh, plan looks like, just like a snapshot of it. Um, so basically I'm kind of doing like carb cycling during the week. So um, for days one, three, and four. So I'm, well, let me back up. So I'm trying to like set up my workout plan where I'm working like, working out Monday through Friday like I normally do. So Monday being uh, day one, Friday being day five. So what I'm doing um, is, so my nutrition plan is set up for days one, three, and four. Those are like my higher carb days. So today was day four. So today was like a really high carb day, which falls in line with the uh, appropriate workouts that I would be doing on those particular days. So day one, three, and four. And then on days two and four, so for me, that would be like Tuesday and, um, no, I messed up. <laughs> so like days two and five, so that would be Tuesday and Friday. Those are my lower carb days. So today was a higher carb day, so tomorrow's going to be a low carb day. And then all days that I take a rest day, those are also 
a lower carb day. So I'm basically doing like carb cycling. So um, that's kind of like how my nutrition plan is set up. And then I've mentioned that in my last video, I think that I'm allowed like two cheat meals. So um, like one kind of cleaner cheat meal, so to speak, and then like another just whatever cheat meal that I want to have. Um, so I'll probably like do one of those cheat meals like this weekend because um, I don't think I'll have enough food for Sunday maybe. So I might just get something um, like grab and go at the pharmacy or something or have one of my technicians go give me something for lunch since I can't leave the pharmacy. But um, so yeah, that's kind of where we're at. Um, so yeah, that's really just a gist of like my nutrition plan, honestly. As y'all saw that I'm eating mostly just like whole, like very uh, voluminous foods. Um, so really not anything that's processed. I think like really the only thing that's really processed is, uh, or packaged is my um, oatmeal in the morning. And that's really it. And then like the this that I just made with the uh, yogurt and the protein powder. But that's honestly it. Everything else is just like straight up, just like whole, like dense, just like clean, voluminous foods. And um, getting all my micronutrients through that. I'm gonna go over in another video, like what supplements and everything I'm taking too, um, to kind of give you all an update on that. I haven't done that in a really long time. So, um, and it has changed. So I will be doing that in another video as well. But um, anyways, I don't know, I'm gonna call it a night. I haven't had a chance to even just like sit down and relax yet. And uh, I'm sorry if I have like weird light. My lights above me <laughs> in my little mason jars, they create like a weird like, light shadow. Like I, we have the worst lighting in our house and I'm so sorry, I apologize for that. But anyways, I'm going to um, eat this and I'm gonna get undressed and I'm gonna take myself to bed and just kind of relax for a minute. Probably, I don't know, watch like one of my Netflix shows because I gotta get up early in the morning and go work out because I work mainly two to 10 for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at the pharmacy, which y'all know who watch me all the time. I hate that shift. So I'm gonna get my rest and I'm gonna call it a night. So thank you so much for watching and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye y'all.